How old are we? I don't mean you specifically, I already somewhat know that, but I mean as a species, how long have we been around? Well, the answer to that is constantly changing. However, one thing that is known for sure is that our species got its start in Africa. This is thanks to both genetic and fossil evidence, but when and where Homo sapiens evolved within Africa has seen a shift in recent years. Originally, the idea was that Homo sapiens originated somewhere in East Africa around 200,000 years ago, which was based on fossils such as the Omo remains that were dated to around this time. However, the single point of origin for humanity has been questioned over time. Around the time of the Omo remains discovery, some anthropologists suggested that a Southern African origin was more likely based on cultural evidence. And in 2002, Professor Chris Stringer proposed a theory that would change the way we thought about this question of origin. He suggested that instead of one point of origin for our species, we evolved across Africa. With modern human behavior, morphologies, and genes coming from several groups across the continent that were somehow interlinked. The paper did go on to mention, however, that this would require more evidence to be proven correct. But little did Stringer know that he already had evidence that supported this. In fact, this evidence had been uncovered over 40 years prior to his paper's publication. Within the country of Morocco, there is a site known as Jebel Erhoud. The site was initially planned to be used for mining operations in 1960. But not long after these began, it was apparent that the mine held more than just minerals. The following year, in 1961, workers at the mine would dig in when they came across something unusual, a nearly complete hominin skull. This discovery brought newfound interest to the site, and further excavations that same year unearthed multiple mammal species at the site, such as hares, jackals, leopards, and gazelles. Along with this, several more hominin remains were found, including a well-preserved mandible and humerus. Found alongside these remains were several stone tools made from flint that were similar to Lavawa tools, which at the time were associated closely with Neanderthals. This, along with the fossils having several archaic features, led to the human remains initially being assigned to a group of African Neanderthals. This was later changed in 2007, when dating of the fossils placed them at around 160,000 years old and analysis of the mandible showed it had more in common with Homo sapiens than any other Homo species. Thus, the fossils were reclassified as belonging to Homo sapiens. So, archaic humans found in North Africa 160,000 years ago doesn't sound that interesting, right? It's cool, don't get me wrong, but at this point, humans were believed to have evolved 200,000 years ago in East Africa. So, Jebel Ehud was just seen as a spot that humans inhabited after this event, and nothing more. But in 2017, this notion was quickly turned on its head. Over the years, more human finds were uncovered, such as a well-preserved skull called a Hood 10. But more importantly, more mammal remains and flint tools were found and showed signs of being burnt. In fact, these tools showed signs of cracking, which led researchers to suggest that they had been heated by fire. This meant the researchers could use thermoluminescence to date the findings more accurately. What is thermoluminescence? Essentially, stones such as flint trap electrons from the sun or decaying minerals around them. These are stored over time, and once the flint is heated, the electrons escape and the stones begin to collect electrons yet again. Because these electrons build up within flint at a steady, measurable rate, it basically creates a clock within the stone. So, researchers took these tools, heated them up, and measured the amount of electrons that escape. Researchers found that the tools and, by association, the human remains were actually 300,000 years old, close to double the original estimates and a lot older than the proposed start date of our evolution of 200,000 years ago. So what does this all mean for the field of paleoanthropology? Well, firstly, despite these remains being called Homo sapiens, some authors have disputed that. 
See, modern humans have very distinctive faces. We have weak brow ridges, a relatively flat face, small teeth compared to our ancestors, and a globe-shaped skull. Comparing these features with the Ahud 10 skull I mentioned earlier, we can see that while it shares characteristics like a flat face, its teeth are slightly larger than those of modern day humans, and its skull is much longer. This has led to several arguments over what the skull should be classified as, with some saying it should be a new species, and others saying it's an early transitional form of Homo sapiens, with this latter point being more widely accepted. Secondly, because of these differences, these fossils have changed our understanding of how we evolved drastically. These differences go against the idea that humans evolved 200,000 years ago from one population that looked exactly like modern humans. The Ahud fossils now show that features such as the globe-shaped skull would have developed later, or, as some have suggested, may have come from another similar population. See, in southern Africa, fragmentary remains of hominin bones dated to 260,000 years ago have been suggested to be early Homo sapiens. Champions. Also, remember the Omo fossils that supposedly dated to around 200,000 years ago? Well, a more recent analysis now places their age closer to 230,000 years ago. All of these populations around Africa have led to the idea that instead of evolving in one place, Homo sapiens evolved due to admixture between multiple interlinked groups across Africa, which was the original idea put forward by Chris Stringer. But this is all still theory, as nothing can be said for sure, except that the Jebel Uhud remains are the oldest Homo sapien fossils that we found. Note the last bit, that we found. See, despite being close to 300,000 years old, Homo sapien evolution may go back even further than this, with studies being published that put the split between Homo sapiens and other Homo lineages at around 400 to 600,000 years ago. So, who knows what amazing fossils are hiding in that massive chunk of time? And maybe the Ahud specimens, like the Omo ones before it, will become evidence of an outdated idea. But that's all from me. So, until next time, bye bye.